Hey guys, how's it going? Greg here, and I have something really exciting to share. As you can see here, right away in the instructor, this person here is Andrew Ng. And as far as I'm aware anyway, it's been a while since Andrew has actually been teaching the courses. I'm not holding that against him by any means. He's got a lot to do in the business world and the machine learning world. You know, he's been having some heated debates with these AI people recently. But nonetheless, he has managed to be the instructor for generative AI for everyone, which is really, really nice because this is just a six hour hour course. We're used to, sometimes on Coursera, 30 to 40 hour courses. There's a lot going on. This is something that's extremely manageable, beginner level. You can kind of just watch it during your lunches and you can learn a little bit as you go. Now, as you can see so far, it is brand new. So that's why there's only 29 reviews, but it has a perfect rating so far. Okay. Coursera does not rig their ratings in any capacity like many sites do. They genuinely have whatever reviews are on there. They're going to keep. It has five stars, like literally perfect. So basically what this course is, is you've got three quick modules. The first one is Introduction to Generative AI. There's a lot of overview and you're probably going to have seen a lot of this stuff already. So I'm not really going to go over that. The next two modules I think are really good. Generative AI projects. There's really cool stuff in here. Retrieval, augmented generation. I've been seeing this a lot on LinkedIn. It's something really important right now. So make sure you check that out. Instruction tuning and RLHF, reinforcement learning from human feedback. Don't consider that optional. Make sure that you use that. And tool use in agents is also not optional in my opinion. Make sure that you do that. Now, the final one is really, really interesting. Generative AI in business and society. Teams to build generative AI software, whether you really like it or not. Pretty much every company is going to be thinking about this idea. So make sure that you do that. Andrew Ng is going to talk about his concerns about AI, unsurprisingly, the longest amount of time because he's really passionate and it's really important. Responsible AI, very similar. You know, artificial general intelligence is the big question. And in general, we want to build a more intelligent world. And so regardless of anyone's really individual opinion here, Andrew's or anybody else, Else's it's going to be, they all pretty much share the same opinion of this could go right. Okay, there's a lot of things that could be very, very useful in AI, and they want to build it out. However, there is different things that could go wrong, like in the business world, or, you know, of course, the societal impacts of what actual general artificial general intelligence means, there's a lot that could go, you know, we have to figure it out, we just really don't know yet. And so this is, you know, this whole course is Andrew's way of saying, like, here's these technologies, you know, regardless of who you are, so for everyone. Here is generative AI as a whole. This is how the technology is changing a little bit about how it works. So you have the background and this is how it's changing society and how we have to be careful. I highly recommend you take the course regardless of who you are. And thank you to Coursera for sponsoring this video. I, you know, I share these courses anyway, so I really appreciate it. Have a great day. I'll talk to you later.